Dear all, welcome back to my math channel MathWeb. In this video, I will answer your question number 7 from Pierce and Excel A-level exam for Pure Math 1. This exam is taken in May-June session year 2024. Paper reference code is WMA11-01. The curve C has equation y equals to f of x where f of x equals to 2x cubed minus kx square plus 14x plus 24. And k is a constant, find in simplest form f prime x the first derivative and second part the second derivative you need to differentiate this function one, first time once you differentiate you get the first answer again answer differentiated again you get the second derivative okay uh, let me tell you some basic formulas uh, to differentiate one formula is uh, known as the power rule according to the power rule we bring the power here and we reduce the power by one so it will be n minus one and uh, derivative of x by using the same formula because power 1 is there answer is always 1 because it is like that if you re reduce the power by 1 it will be x power 0 and answer will be 1 and the third formula uh, you know it to memorize that is uh, derivative of a constant number derivative of constant any constant okay it will be 0 so you should memorize uh, these formulas to differentiate the function now let me solve first part function is given there f of x equals to 2x cube minus kx square plus 14x plus 24 for the first part you need to get the first derivative okay first derivative can be represented by this way f prime x according to that rule we will apply the power rule this power 3 will multiply by 2 you get here 6 and uh, take away 1 from 3 so it left with 2 x power 2 this 2 multiply here you get here as minus 2k and reduce the power by 1 it left with x only and as i told you here derivative of x is 1 so it will be 14 only and derivative of constant number is 0 so no need to write 0 here okay so first part is done for the second part again you differentiate this derivative so second derivative is written like this this 2 multiply here you get as 12 and take away 1 from 2 so it left with 1 only and the derivative of x is 1 so it will be minus 2k only okay and 14 is 0 so first part is done in the second part the curve with equation y equals to f prime x intersects the curve with equation y equals to double prime x at the point a and b means these two curves they are intersecting each other if they are intersecting we can equate them okay to find the point of intersection uh, given that x coordinates of a is 5 find the value of k in second part these two curves intersecting each other okay so we can equate them equating both equations if they are intersecting we can equate them so it will be 6x square minus 2kx plus 14 is equals to 12x minus 2k here in the question it is given there that uh, the coordinates of a is 5 coordinate x coordinate of a is 5 so this is x okay this value is x if you substitute this value of x here in this equation you will get the value of k substitute x equals to 5 so it will be 6 5 square minus 2k into 5 plus 14 equals to 12 into 5 minus 2k simplifying 5 square is uh, 25 25 multi plus 6 is 150 minus 10k plus 14 is equals to 60 minus 2k solve these two numbers and uh, you can bring this six, uh, 60 on left hand side and you can move this 10k to right side okay 150 plus 14 is 164 minus 60 is equals to this becomes positive there okay minus 2k plus 10k 164 minus 60 is uh, 104 equals to 2 minus 2 plus 10 is 8k and this 8 will divide to the other side Therefore, you can get the value of k from here. k will be equals to 104 divided by 8 is 13. So, k is 13. Second part is done. For the last part, hence find the coordinates of b. 
Now to find the coordinates of uh, B, you need to substitute the value of K in this equation. Let me write that equation here again. See, that is the 6x squared minus 2kx plus 14. 6x squared minus 2kx plus 14 is equals to 12x minus 2k. Substitute the value of k. k equals to 13. 6x squared minus 2 into 13 x plus 14 is equals to 12 x minus 2 into 13. Now bring these values on left hand side we will make a quadratic 6 x square minus 26 x this 12 x will be subtracted from minus 26 x and plus 14 minus 26 becomes positive 26 on the left hand side equals to 0. Solving the like terms, we will solve them together. It will be 6x square minus 38x plus 40 equals to 0. Simplify it, divide by 2. So it will be 3x square minus 19x plus 20 equals to 0. Uh, here is a way to factorize, just multiply this constant number with 20. Uh, we should get here the coefficient 1, okay, then it, it is easily factorized. x square minus 19x, keep these two numbers as is, like here will be 1, you multiply 3 by 20, you get here 60, and then factorize. Now it is easy, easily factorized. Choose such numbers that will give you, if you multiply, you get 60, and if you add or subtract, you should get the middle number. So those numbers are minus 15 and minus 4 you know minus 15 multiply minus 4 is uh, 60 and minus 15 minus 4 is minus 19 okay if you solve them together you should get the middle number if you multiply you get here 60 uh, how to get this 60 because you multiply it here by 3 multiply by 3 therefore you have to divide by 3 here it is the rule this is not simplified it could be simplified okay then move this 3 here. So we will get two factors here. One factor will be x minus 5 and other will be 3x minus 4 equals to 0. So this is a way to factorize. Here you get two answers for x. One answer will be from here. From this factor you get answer as 5 and other answer you will get from here that will be equals to 4 over 3. We know that this, this answer is for a. Okay, This is the coordinate of a. But we need to find the coordinates of B. Uh, so we'll choose this X coordinate. Okay. So if you substitute this value in one of the equation, like uh, in the first derivative or second derivative, this is the uh, one equation you can better here if you substitute over here to get the value of Y. We can say Y equals to second derivative. Let's say that is Y. 12 X minus 2 K. Substitute the value of K and X here value of k is 13 and x equals to 4 over 3. Substitute in this equation to get the y coordinate of b. 12 into 4 over 3 minus 2 into 13. This can be simplified. So it will be 4 here. 4 multiplied 4 is 16. 16 minus 26. And the y coordinates of b will be minus 10. Therefore, the coordinates of B will be 4 over 3 and minus 10. So, this is the answer for the last part of question number 7. Question number 7 is done. If you have any question, please write in the comment box. Thank you.